Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. Does anyone want to come to the Caribbean? Hi, we are Erica and Davy, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damaged catamaran. We have come so far and are beyond happy to be floating once more. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance. You never know how perfect something may turn out to be. All right, so lots going on this week, guys. Um, it's been crazy. It's been crazy. We've been uh, exploring. Um, we've been up in the mountains. Yeah, we've been helping friends uh, that have decided to, uh, to move on. So there's a couple of boats available. And we've also been working on a scuba dive compressor, trying to get that up and running so that we can start doing a lot of diving with you guys as well. Yeah, we're super excited to go diving. It's been like almost a year and a half. Yeah, so hopefully by next week's episode, we should be up and running. So this weekend we were invited to go to an awesome Airbnb up in the mountains. So the town we went to is called Herabacoa. It's about a two and a half hour drive from Lupron. Once you get up into the mountains, it is so much cooler than down in the bay. Um, Herabacoa is a very beautiful town. We got to go ATVing and we just had a good time with good company. I can reach the pedals, the seat's not adjustable guys. So everything started out pretty good. I'm smiling, I'm happy at the beginning. <laughs> it was beautiful scenery. Um, the ATV buggies that we got, um, they worked out to be about $80 per buggy. So not too bad, but more touristy prices. Um, everybody else in our group, they wanted to drive their own. They wanted the experience of driving one, but I was super happy with just being a passenger. I felt like it was more of a, a fun experience being able to do it with Davey. I'm also very glad that I was a passenger, as you'll see in a little bit, I don't really like ATV. So Herabakoa, roughly translated, means the land of waters. It's a temperate rainforest up here, there's lots of waterfalls around, and it's just beautiful scenery. They say the Spanish actually came up this way looking for gold. But one of the reasons they left is they didn't find any big finds, but to this day, apparently, gold still washes up on some of the riverbeds. So you never know, you might get lucky. Dan was being a bit of a twat. <laughs> Um, he would find every single puddle, he'd stop and he would try and splash our uh, buggy with all the muddy water. Luckily Davey was smart enough to stay far enough back, but we did try it on the people who were behind us. By this point in the trip, I was getting a little bit nervous about the cliff edges and the driving really fast on the bumpy roads, so the filming isn't my best work, so I'm sorry about that guys, but uh, my nerves were a little bit on edge. So we had to go to um, Susua, to the vet there, um, and she had to have a surgery, so she had to stay overnight. She's got a big scar. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have to go back to get the stitches out next week. Um, but she's doing really well, but it's just one of those other things that uh, kind of took over a few days this week. <laughs> so our friends arrived here a few months back at the beginning of hurricane season, but plans change. So they have decided to put their boat up for sale. So we're gonna give you a little bit of a tour of that one. Also here in the harbor, there is quite a few boats for sale. So why not come and join us in the Caribbean and sail away on a new home? Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, good morning. So I'm over here with uh, Andy, uh, Sink and Swim Adventures, and we're gonna, we've got a little bit of a project going on this morning. We've been talking about doing this for ages. And uh, what we're looking at, so when he bought this boat, as you remember actually, I think, Andy, didn't you find this boat through our channel? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So this boat actually came with a dive compressor, as you can see here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a play with it. We've noticed that some of the bolts, we were told by the previous owner, it's been looked after, the oil's changed. So we're gonna check the filter, we're gonna check the oil, all that sort of stuff. He told us the problem was, was the belt kept jumping off, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, the motor seems to be sliding back and forth. And what we did notice, when you squeeze it- Yeah, look at that, you see the motor going forward there. So it's basically the alignment bolts, you notice that what, there was a nut missing on one, a washer missing on another one. So we're going to make some adjustments to the engine, realign these uh, pulleys so that the belt slips and stays, or doesn't slip, sorry, and stays in the right place. Then we're going to, also we're going to check the oil. We've got the dipstick here, check that. Should be good anyway. John told us that it's just been changed. And we're also going to open up the filter tower here. Um, and then you got a tank ready to fill? I got a tank empty, yeah. Emptied yeah. them this morning, takes about 20, 25 minutes to empty slowly so I don't freeze. Yeah, so, all right. I'm going to chuck this on a time lapse and let's, uh, let's get some tools and hit this baby up. Alrighty, so just to run you a little bit through what we've just gone through, you saw us doing it on the time lapse there. So, and before anyone mentions it, by the way, guys, I am a qualified Bauer technician. I do have my ticket to work on these things. So, what we've basically done, we've checked the air filter. The air filter on this one, to be honest, was a little bit on the rusty side. So, we've just ordered another one of those. We're actually going to run it today just for test purposes without an air filter, but we're going to put a small tube up to make sure we get nice, clean air. We've been through the tower here. This is where the filter goes. We've replaced that with a brand new filter from Bauer and re-secured that one back down. We checked inside to make sure it's nice and clean. Um, there was a little bit of oil residue, but that's normal. That's why the filter's there to remove it. We've also checked the, uh, the oil within the unit itself. We know uh, John that the uh, unit came from. He had just changed this oil. So we didn't change it, but we did check it. It's nice, it's clean, and it's proper mineral oil. We can tell this. We've adjusted the belt here now, so there's good tension. And we've also, using a straight line, checked the pulleys are in alignment. And we changed a few bolts to make sure that the thing now shouldn't vibrate to let the, the belt slip and, uh, and adjust itself out. Also, with the, uh, with the motor, it hadn't, hadn't been run for a while, but the fuel was nearly done. So we've, put, uh, we've just topped out with new fuel with a little fuel additive in it. We've also checked the oil within the motor itself. So we've now basically got it prepared to go and Andy's just gone to get a dive tank so we can test it. First we'll fire it up. When you fire these things up, you don't want too much pressure on the, uh, on the compressor side. So what we do is we open up all the drains, we'll open up the whip and uh, we'll let it run for a moment and then we'll close them back up slowly and uh, see how long it takes to fill a tank. I think if I remember rightly, without checking my little book, I think it's supposed to be about 11 minutes for a Bauer Junior to fill from uh, basically a, a low tank to uh, 3,300 PSI. So we're going to give that a go, guys. So uh, see what happens. Fingers crossed. Alrighty guys, so we've managed to get her fired up. It was just a problem in the carburetor. I know the battery ran out on the camera. Um, I stripped down the carburetor. We found there was a bit of a dirty jet. That was it. We blew that out and she starts up nicely. Um, now what we've got back to, if you look here on the back, we did clean all this area up. So looking at the state of these pulleys, they're old, they're rusty, they're chewing belts. You see the dust here? We cleaned all this off. So that's all part from the belts themselves. So we're going to clean that up and then we'll get back to this. So. Uh, Stay tuned. 
All right, so Andy and I have got to the point now with this compressor that we are not happy with the sound coming out of the second stage. So we've been in contact with Bauer to order up a service kit. We're going to do a complete overhaul on the Bauer Junior, uh, but that's going to be coming in up, up and coming episodes, if you will, because that's got to be ordered in and delivered here. But um, don't worry, we're still going to go diving, guys, because we've got our friend Andrew here who's also got a compressor, so we're going to start filling the tanks with those. So guys, we hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. We've been all over the place. We've been up in the mountains, Harabakoa. We had to spend a night in Sisua with Fox while she had her surgery. Um, now that we're back, the boat is a little bit of a disaster. So I'm gonna spend a few hours cleaning up and putting everything in the right places. Doing a bit of meal prep as well. You can hear that in the background, using the ninja on the blue tee. So it's just been a crazy week, lots of stuff going on. But stay tuned for next week. Hopefully we'll be able to go diving. We're super excited for that. It's been so long, almost a year and a half. So we're super stoked about that. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this week's episode, guys. Stay tuned. Cheers.